Our hearts have huge holes in them, but our hearts are bigger than they were 20 years ago, Anna said. Patrick Ireland, whose fall out of a school library window into the arms of firefighters, which became one of the iconic images of the massacre, spoke of his long physical and emotional recovery. You're a victim only if you allow yourself to become one, Ireland said. Thirteen doves were released at the end of the ceremony. Betty Scholes, the aunt of murdered student Isaiah Scholes, said her 18-year-old nephew was a fun-loving athlete who was always smiling, despite feeling out of place as one of the school's few African-American students. Evan Todd was a sophomore at Columbine two decades ago when he was wounded in the school library, where 10 of the students were killed. He said whenever he hears of school shootings or other tragedies somehow linked to Columbine, it reminds him that he was part of something so gruesome and so public. He often recalls his football teammate Matt Kechter, who was shot dead just a few feet away from him. Sometimes I wonder what Matt would be doing now, what his life would be like, said Todd, 35, who is the father of a one-year-old son. He credits his family and Christian faith for getting him through the months following the tragedy. I'm just thankful that I survived, he said.